It's late afternoon at King Abdulaziz Airport in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. Dozens of U.S. Air Force KC-135 aircraft prepare for late-night missions during the Gulf War. Major Kevin Sweeney and the crew of U.S. Air Force Flight Whale 05 review the final details of their mission. Dark switches. He's the commander. Flight start. Sweeney has over 20 years of Air Force flying experience. It's his job to know the mission and his plane. But the aircraft commander is just like the captain. If you haven't made any tough decisions, it's your responsibility, although you, it's very important to take input from the rest of your crew members and listen to them. At 5.25 p.m., Wheel 05 lifts off from Jeddah. Tonight's mission takes them along a tanker corridor, an aerial highway for tanker crews heading north from Jeddah. When they reach Waypoint Rita, they'll turn east before making their final turn to the rendezvous point less than 180 miles from combat zones near the Kuwaiti border. Whale 05 reaches cruising altitude. As they get closer to enemy territory, the pilots reduce radio contact to avoid detection. Moments later, what the? things go very wrong. I got it. It takes just a second for the plane to roll 110 degrees to the left. The crew can't tell if there's some kind of malfunction or if they're under attack. We're gonna lose her. We gotta get her level. Just as it seems the plane is in an unrecoverable left bank, it snaps hard to the right. Just when all seems lost, Major Sweeney plays a hunch. Speed break! Speed brakes are devices on airplane wings designed to increase drag during descent and landing. Sweeney deploys the speed brakes on both wings, hoping it will level the airplane. It's a procedure Sweeney remembers from his training. It works. Incredibly, the pilots have managed to level the plane. But they're not out of trouble yet. All right, I have lateral control, but we're losing altitude. We've got fire lights on engines one and two. The pilots discover a problem with the two left engines. Steve. How bad are the fires on engines one and two? Checking. If there's a fire in the engines, it could lead to disaster. Oh my god. The only thing I could see was torn sheet metal on the wing where the engines were and fuel being vented over the top of the wing. They're not on fire. They're gone. No fire? Affirmative. No fire. The engines are gone. Roger. 